Hey, it's Mike with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. And it's Thursday. It's November 2nd. This will be our chart lesson for the day. And this will wrap it up for the week. No chart lessons on uh, Friday. Uh, we actually had some good movement today. It was a little bit difficult to catch the big move down and even just as difficult to almost catch it back up. There's a bigger channel here, as you can see. Although it doesn't help you a whole lot, you could have drawn this off these first couple up here and it really wouldn't have mattered how you really got the angle. It still would have got you really close to this bounce down here, uh, especially if you were using the shorter term trend lines and uh, ranges and stuff like that. That's really the only way you could get into this to most of these trades today. And, uh, and even though this is up here, you'll see a lot of short trades and that's because we're going back and forth above and below the EMA and so even though we're going up it's still a bit of a range day and you were having to play the shorter term stuff so um, I mean if everything's constantly above the EMA you don't want to trade it like that but when it's back and forth you can trade it both ways and as you can see most of your better trades were actually shorts versus longs even though we really were in an uptrend from nine o'clock on and most of all your sh trades were short still and um, so we'll talk about those trades when we get to them it, it was just uh, even though there's a lot of movement today they were hard to catch so um, you really were better off to leave that off the only thing it might have helped you with was this trade right here otherwise um, and really what this is is a pullback to test this breakout area right across here Well, if I can ever. Well, anyway, you can see that highs right there, and that's a pullback to test that breakout area is what that is. Um, that's what prices do. They're constantly. There we go. Finally got it right. If you move that up there, you can see that's a perfect test of that to the tick. And if you. And if you notice that, um, then that would have made this trade a little stronger and you might have even argued for that to be blue because there is a break here and a break here outside and then a move to a new low and then it's a perfect retest of that and it takes off. So this is real close to being blue depending on how you saw it. Uh, if you didn't recognize that that's a pullback to test that because notice how we broke out. We never really tested it and you're almost always going to test something. Um, before you take off again so just something to be aware of but anyway when I came in we were working up there's a second entry here it's it's right into the highs of the day but you can see this is a spike and channel up and um, it's right off the key entry point every time we've come back to that point we've bounced uh, new high there pull back first entry pull back second entry and it it um, it never tried to go, it never, it well, actually did break lower here, but on the second entry it didn't, but it, it can't, when it's bouncing off that trend line like that, I like that one. Um, you could argue that it's a little bit risky because it's right into the highs, but with that spike in channel, uh, I figured we'd go higher for a while longer. I was a little surprised that we didn't go further than we did, but um, I like that entry. Uh, you, you may have had a little trouble getting into it because it bounced. I mean, it, if you'd had, you, you wouldn't have the time to get your stop in there because it took off so fast, but you could have tried the limit order to see if it'd come back and get you. And you might've gotten filled. You might not have. So uh, you might not even been able to get filled on that chart. Depends on what your, or on that trade, depends on what your chart looked like. So but then after that, we just started going sideways and we got the close outside the channel here we tried to go higher once twice it fails uh really at this point i'm trading this and i was looking for it to make a new high so i like this one the only problem with it is there's not much room there there's not really room to get out so if you took this one you had to let it break higher and drop a limit order maybe a tick or two back just to give yourself room to get out before these highs and if you did that you would have been safe otherwise it would i think it would have been a four tick failure if you just used a stop there but you, you ought you should probably 
uh, be a little bit concerned because this is a range and you just don't really have room before the high of that range without using the limit order. So, um, and there's no way to get in here short. You don't really get a breakout pullback short at all. So there's just no way to get in. This is the first correction you see and it's right at the trend line and it breaks higher and turns and goes out the other side. I like going short right there just because it's off that key entry and it's the first correction. Uh, there's still a good bit of room left before you get to the lows. And this turns out to be a really nice trade. And you finally get another uh, close outside and you move to a new low. Uh, <clears throat> on this one, I'm not as crazy about this one because you are down here into the lows now. Um, it is a failed second entry long, but you've been away from that EMA a long time and you've gotten a good bit further away and you're right into the lows now. So if you move this up, you can see uh, to where that close was. There's not a lot of room there. You still probably could argue for that to be green. But after being that far away from the EMA that long, um, I'm not crazy about it. But I'll give it a, you know, if you want to be aggressive, there, there may be enough room right there. It's real close. Um, you get most of your touches right across there you can see that kind of is the swing point right there it's the reason I like that point um, but then you move on down and you you get a little you go a little bit below the overnight low and it reverses and if you've got a setup here I would have liked to maybe consider a long back to the EMA but you need to wait on a higher low which doesn't come till here and then it doesn't break above that when it turns back down, but it gives you this one right in the center. And that's, that's really a doji. Um, but the reason I like that is because it's still part of this whole move right here. And it gives you a better entry than entering way up here. And you're probably going to at least go back to the EMA. Even if you're going lower, you're probably going back to the EMA, but you've already had a close outside, move to a new low. And then, this is probably a little bit of a short trap right here. And this is why we like to wait on second entries or in le at least to get back to the EMA uh, if it's not off a trend line like over here or whatever. So, and this is a second entry. Notice that's a double top there. So you pull back, you get a first entry. And even though it didn't go lower, that's a lower high. So that's still a second entry long right there, form of one. Uh, your stop still has to go below right here. And that does appear to be the support of the lows so it makes sense that it's bouncing there and probably going to go back to the EMA so that's why I like that one um, it's real close to being green uh, you could argue it both ways but I like it and uh, you don't know that it's going to take off like that but you figure you're going to get a scalp out of it and if this is a range day we're probably going back to the highs and you may get to ride it straight back up just like it came down there and uh, off it goes. It turns out to be a pretty good trade. And there's just no other way to get in that one. Um, there is, where was it at? Right in here. Um, notice what happens here. It's similar to over here. Uh, this turns out to really kind of be a, a repeat pattern of this over here. And once we started going up I'll show you this before I forget about it there's your first leg up and I'd look for when we started higher here I'd look for a measured move and you can see we actually out did that and then so if you kept going higher you would go to the you'd measure it like this and that would be your next target and you see we really got that almost to the tick we might have went a tick or so higher than that actually but that's really close and so we went a couple of ticks higher than that. So that would have been a great target. Uh, if you've got out a tick or two in front of that, you would have got almost the entire move. And that's hard to do to get the whole move. So if you can get out within a point or two of the high, when you get a move like that, you're doing pretty good. But anyway, notice what happens. Um, you push through the EMA, you pull back, then you pull back again, and it breaks higher. So even though you don't see it right there, that's a failed second entry short. Um, and we almost get that repeat pattern over here. Notice how we go up. We pull back once, we pull back twice, and it goes higher. And that's the reason I marked that one green. We'll talk about it in a minute. But it's really a repeat pattern. Um, so you really just don't get another chance. If you didn't get in down here somewhere, you don't get in this trade. 
And if we'd had a nice signal bar down here, I probably would have said um, you could go. And you probably could argue for that one to be green. That far away from the EMA, three ticks, uh, your stop would probably need to still go down below here, though. So by that time, you're looking at a little more risk. But you could probably argue for that one. Uh, it's very tempting, but it was the same thing right here. You were a good bit away, and you see, only problem here is we really didn't have a convincing close outside yet until here, and then the new low. And a lot of times you get two legs, so um, you just never know. But also, by the time we got here versus here, we blew below the overnight low, so that might give that, and we're a lot further away from the EMA. And you're just not going to stay away that long. So... Not unless it's a runaway trend, and we just hadn't had those lately, really. So um, so there's reason to argue for it. But, again, your stop has to go below the low down here, the very low. It can't go below that bar, even though you would have entered above on the break above that little bar. Um, and it doesn't give you a chance here. You get, you're going sideways, and this is really a failed break lower, but it's too bearish. Uh, it's not much room back to the high, same thing with this bar, you know, really this is your signal bar, and so I don't like going long there. Uh, but this is a close outside a new low, so if you get a lower high, like right here, and it's only like three ticks, uh, still a long way back to the EMA, I like that one. That's very low risk, so you're only risking a few ticks. And, and then you get your reversal here, your failed second entry long. Generally, you want to see that go back through the EMA, but you still got a trend line working down here, so I like that one. You actually would go short below this bar. This is your signal bar, but when it broke lower, you'd go short right there, and your stop still has to go above that bar. So I'll move that over. But always remember your stop has to go above the swing high, which is above that bar right there. Let me make that a little bigger. That might be difficult to see. Yep. So this bar, so you, you'd go short below this bar, and your stop has to go above that one. And only because that's where it broke lower next, not down here. So you want every advantage you can get, but it doesn't trigger till it breaks lower, and that's below that bar. And it, so hopefully that makes sense. But we're working on down. Uh, you get a close outside. Big bar, but you don't want to go short right into all those lows after a close outside. It pushes to a new low, and I, uh, as I explained, this was a pullback to test that breakout area here. Uh, nice bullish reversal bar. Uh, you're not that far away from the EMA, um, so it's you know it's always a risk that you may go up there and get one more leg down. So what you want to do is let it break higher here. Get in a, is another tick or two back in here, hoping you, to get more room before you get back to the EMA. So, but notice what it does. It tries to go back once, then it goes higher, and it comes back again and bounces off the EMA. That's your reversal pattern. It didn't break lower each time, but it's still two attempts to try to go lower. If you went to a smaller chart, you would see it. And it's a repeat of kind of right over here. So, um, I like that one. Look at that reversal bar. Again, you're getting close to these highs, so you may let it break higher and drop a limit order right at the high, maybe a tick back, just to give yourself a little advantage. But you could still argue, because it's right off that trend line, to go long right there. Um, that's a key entry point, and it is coming off the EMA, too. So, um, And remember, you would have had these two measurements from over here and been looking for a measured move up. So... Um, it's a little risky because it's not perfect, and um, you really need a good eye to recognize that it's a repeat pattern, that kind of thing. And then, of course, we're moving up. You get a close outside, move to a new high, and you might even argue for this one to be, I mean, you could definitely argue for it to be green. I'll go ahead and make it green. Um, it's not that far away from the EMA, so it's it's a little aggressive. If it had been a little further away with that big a bearish bar, uh, but it is pretty close to these highs right across here. So uh, be a place that you would look for prices to back up again. Um, you get a lower high here, but it turns out to be a doji. But then you get that reversal, what we've been seeing here, and a double top. And it actually went out the top and turns, it goes out the other side. Um, 
you might let it break lower and drop a limit order in. It would have given you a little better entry, but you would have been okay either way, even if you'd use a stop right there. Uh, when it comes back, it's tempting to get in there again, and you probably could, but um, you got a lot of resistance right across, I mean, support right across there now, and it's not getting below the EMA, so that worries me. So I'm probably not going to take that one. If you did get in, when it starts going sideways here, uh, and there's dojis in there and all that, I'd take what it'd give me and get out. Because you don't know if it's going sideways because the re resistance is going to win out or if the support's going to win out. So it's just probably not worth risking it, uh, especially when you don't have your... Uh, your measured move yet. Um, notice what happens. It does break out of there. And what generally happens when prices break out of a little, and that's the first break of this trend channel. So in the short term, we're probably coming back down again. And notice that that is a, we went, you got this high right here. We tested it once. We tested it twice. Nice reversal bar. I like, you, you may not have had, time to get in that one that's another one that gaps down and takes off so um but i would try to get in right there just to ride a scalp out back into the range and i got you in the two o'clock hour so again if you, you as you notice it's easier to trade and it's funny how dale do that notice how tight every one of these little moves are they're all real tight moves uh this one's a little broader here but this one's more sideways to be honest um, then it is down, but you can't argue that that is a little correction right there either. So, um, but look what happened when it went up after two o'clock as well. Again, it's a real tight channel working up there. And so that's just, it's interesting how it'll do that. And it did that all day long. So. That's what you had to deal with today. You were better. The only way to really trade this um, and get most of your entries was to find these really short uh, trend channels. So, but yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for today. Um, I'm going to wrap the week up again. No chart lesson on Fridays. So we'll be back again to do it Monday, but I'm done for today. I hope you had a great week. I uh, hope you had a good trading day and we'll be back Monday. This is Mac with priceactiontradingsystem.com, and we'll see you next time.